my god, this is perfect, you know, animals, gangsters, driving cars, robbing banks. That was Creaming Reservoir Dogs meet fun animation, you know. Congrats on the movie. I have to say I did watch it twice in a row. <laughs> oh, wow, my God. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, the animation style is just incredible. Can you tell me about finding that? Absolutely. I mean, this is a style that is uh, something that I've been wanting to see on, on uh, American uh, animation for, for quite a while now. Um, probably because I grew up with it when I was a kid. Um, but it is really a, uh, it's funny because it's kind of becoming a bit of a trend in France, honestly. Um, not not the movie, but that style of animation for a few last few years, really. And and I think you know it's a it's a it's kind of the crossroad of very you know classic traditional animation that we in tra animation production that we've had in France, but also a lot of anime influence that has been pollinating. You know, and they've been cross pollinating each other, and that's something that you know it's not as common to see in in the animation industry in the U.S. And I really wanted to see that, and so the the trick was to uh, to get that known here to the team so that they kind of reproduce could reproduce it. Of course, our movies an adaptation of all of this because people have their own reflexes and we have our own pipeline and it's CG and so many things. But but it's kind of that's where it's coming from, you know, and this is Celestine and 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 you have the big bad fox and you have um, you know like Lupin and, and Castle of Cagliostro and then you have Sherlock Hound and um, you know animes, you know, fully Kuli and all of that. You know, and so all of that has been influencing that style. And then I, I had a, an animator called uh, Jorge Capote who's worked you know, in 2D and anim animation, it's really his genius. And he was there to help me out because he really knows that style. And JP Sansu, the head of animation, together they were trying just really making sure that they could teach the, the crew and just draw over every shot to just to make sure it fit in that style. What inspirations beyond the book do you feel like were present in this movie? A lot of inspiration from uh, the heist movies, like classic heist movies, you know, that we all love, the Itali Italian job and, and Snatch and Lockstock and obviously Ocean Eleven uh, and the Ocean franchise, really, and Soderbergh um, films, um, which I'm just a, such a sucker for and big fan of, you know. Um, but also, you know, I think the very first in influence for me was uh, Quentin Tarantino films and film, you know, cinema. And it, it really came out of uh, the the look of that cover, you know, where, you know, the, the first cover of the first book, I mean, the cover of the first book, the bad guys is really those animals in suits, you know, black suits, and they look like gangsters, and to me it was Reservoir Dogs, and I'm like, oh my God, this is perfect, you know, animals, gangsters, driving cars, robbing banks, money flying, it was exactly that, and I would picture that right away, and so that was Creaming Reservoir Dogs meet fun animation, you know. And then obviously Tarantino is very hard to adapt uh, for children for so many reasons. Um, <laughs> but and therefore it kind of became more like, you know, the high star and the Ocean Eleven and, 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 and all of those movies that I also love, you know, and so it kind of became that and a bit of Mission Impossible and a bit of breaking the fourth wall like Deadpool and Fleabag and, and obviously, you know, uh, My Fair Lady when it's all the training montage. Of, so, so all of these were in there, you know, but those are kind of the bigger influences for sure. I love that. And just, I, I don't know if you're thinking about this at this point, but let's say, and I think it will, this movie blows up. Everybody loves it. Everybody wants more. Do you think there's space for a sequel? And is that something that you've thought about? Well, if you if you think that there's 20 books that are coming out in the in the in the book series, there's no way there's no space for a sequel. You know, there <laughs> is definitely something to do, and 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 of course we're thinking about it. Yeah, you know, of course we want to see those characters be there again and and come back. And and honestly, I just enjoy the ride with them so much myself. Uh, bringing them to life and then when I see you know my children or like friends of my children's reaction to this and and wanting more uh, and really wanting to embark with these characters you really fall in love with them I think during this film you know yeah. just you want to see them what's next you know and so yeah we're thinking about it so you know nothing's done we don't know but in a way fingers crossed I kind of hope you mentioned the cast they're incredible how much yeah. influence did they have in the characters were they ad-libbing i know there was a song by anthony ramos that got put into the film <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. they had an incredible like huge influence on each of these characters i mean y y i mean you have to remember i mean those are incredible talents you know and they they are so powerful and so strong that they define their character like almost on the first day reading for 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 us they 
like Sam and Kofina and just Alex Borstein and all every, all, every single one of them would be there and just just give like just bring up the characters like bring them to life you know and once you hear them do it you're like oh my god that's that's the character it's just like you can't hear anything else you know yeah. and because we first record our you know we first dub our, our, our storyboards with scratch voices temp actors temp voices which are great but then when you hear the real deal it's like oh my god this okay done this this is him this is wolf this is tarantula and this is shark so yeah they brought so much to the point where we rewrote some lines for them to really match their voices and their 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 acting style uh, and and uh, and and frankly, we managed to record them together, uh, so that it really be some kind of improvisation, some kind of banter between them, and and, and make sure that the the flow and the read was organic and felt right. Um, and um, I think they had a blast. I had definitely had a blast, and and uh, and it's such a great cast, you know. Me too. Well, I gotta wrap, but thank you so much for your time. Congratulations. <laughs> of course. Thank, thank you. you.